Welcome to Okolab YouTube channel. This is an introduction and selection guide for Okolab stage top and cage incubation systems for time lapse microscopy. What is time lapse microscopy? Which environmental parameters can I control? And what are the type of incubation systems available? Stage top and cage incubation. And how do I choose? Time-lapse microscopy involves imaging cells on more than one point in time. You may need to study cellular processes that occur over hours or several days. The challenge you're facing is how do you keep your cells alive while on the microscope? You have to control temperature, gas concentration, and humidity. This slide shows you the two main kinds of incubation systems available. On the left, what we call cage system. On the right, what we call stage top. Let's see them in more detail. In a cage incubation system, heating encloses a microscope. The stage, objective, and nose piece are located inside the enclosure at 37 degrees. To this, you add a microenvironmental chamber preventing humidified CO2 from dissipating. You will place your sample inside this chamber and locate it on the stage in the enclosure at 37 degrees. In a stage top system, both heating and gas conditioning are provided by the microenvironmental chamber. There are some electrical contacts. The lid is heated. The glass on the lid is coated with indium tin oxide, also providing heating, and the sides of the chamber are heated as well. This slide shows you a complete stage top system. Let's see it in more detail. On the left hand side, you can see a stack of controllers. They are digital for temperature and gas. The controllers are linked through a bus connection. Each stack is operated through OcoTouch, a user friendly and intuitive touchscreen interface. OcoTouch is an intuitive touchscreen interface. It has onboard memory to log the data. Temperature can be controlled using sample or chamber feedback mode. Humidity control is active. The humidity module, located away from the stage to avoid accidental spills, is equipped with a humidity sensor. There's no need to add water into the chamber. The system is compatible with the smart box an optional device allowing you to log the data and control the unit remotely. Manual gas mixers are also compatible. To illustrate the microenvironmental chambers, I will use a K-frame for inverted microscopes as an example. A K-frame simply fits a microscope stage with an opening 160 by 110 millimeters. This is just an example. Chambers for all stage brands and models, including upright, are available. Okolab K-frame chambers have built-in perfusion holes. They come plugged with small screws. You can unplug them if you need to do perfusion. The lid slides open, and you do not have to put water inside the chamber to provide humidity. The sample is placed in the chamber using a magnetic insert. This slide shows you a partial list of sample inserts. Please focus on the inserts in the red box. These are meant for multi-well plates. A stage top incubator will require a perforated metal plate to improve thermal uniformity on the bottom surface. However, if you're using an oil immersion objective, the insert for multi-well plates will be an open frame, as shown in the blue box. This will allow the objective to move freely between wells. When imaging with an oil immersion objective, we recommend using an objective heater. In this image, represented by a heating band in yellow, secured around the objective by a green strap. An oil immersion objective will touch the bottom of the well through the oil and will draw heat away from your sample. This is why an objective heater is recommended. Let's talk about cage incubation systems. Here is an overview. Remember, in this case, heating encloses the microscope and the objective and nose piece are inside the enclosure at 37 degrees. 
The microenvironmental chamber containing the sample and located on the stage prevents humidified CO2 from dissipating. We offer transparent enclosures. If at a later time you need, you can add obscuring panels. Or you could select a black enclosure to begin with, or even a black laser safe one. Ocolab enclosures are designed to fit the profile of each microscope, keeping into account all the peripheral accessories. The enclosure is easy to install, as the panels are held in place by hinge clips. To fully access the microscope, simply remove the front panel. Ocolab enclosures come with a standard LED light operated with a foot pedal. This provides you a clear view as you set up your time-lapse experiment. On the left hand side, you can see a stack of controllers. They are digital for temperature and gas. The controllers are linked through a bus connection. Each stack is operated through OcoTouch, a user-friendly and intuitive touchscreen interface. OcoTouch has onboard memory allowing you to log the data. For data logging and remote operation, the optional smart box here in red is available. Temperature can be controlled either in sample or cage feedback mode. The humidity module is vibration free and the system is compatible with digital as well as manual gas mixers. To illustrate the microenvironmental chambers, I will use a K-frame for inverted microscopes as an example. A K-frame simply fits a microscope stage with an opening 160 by 110 millimeters. This is just an example. Chambers for all stage brands and models, including upright, are available. Ocolab K-frame chambers have built-in perfusion holes plugged with small screws. You can unplug them if you need to do perfusion. The lid slides open and you don't have to put water inside the chamber to provide humidity. The sample is placed in the chamber using a magnetic insert. This slide shows a partial list of available inserts. When imaging multi-wall plates with a cage incubation system, you will always use an open frame, here in the blue box. You don't need the perforated metal plate because the microenvironmental chamber, the stage, as well as a nose piece are inside the enclosure at 37 degrees. Additionally, you never need an objective heater because the objective and nose piece are inside the enclosure at 37 degrees. When you select your incubation system, think of your lab setup and your application. A cage incubator is extremely stable. The enclosure protects your sample from drafts and room temperature fluctuations. If you're doing perfusion, you can place pumps media and other equipment inside the enclosure to equilibrate them to 37 degrees. You never need an objective heater, so if you're mostly imaging multi-well plates with oil immersion objectives, a cage incubator is highly recommended. Remember, it takes a longer time to heat it up just because of the volume of the enclosure, and you can never do temperature cycles. A stage top incubator is extremely compact and easy to remove. It offers a fast thermal response because you're heating a smaller chamber. You can select the percentage of humidity you deliver to your sample. You can also do temperature cycles, although with some limitations. When you image with oil immersion objectives, you must have an objective heater. It is suitable to imaging multi-well plates with oil immersion objectives, but it's not ideal. Thank you for your time. Check back our YouTube channel for the next tutorial. If you have any questions, email us at info at oco-lab.com.